Regardless of how much rookie quarterback Geno Smith has struggled lately, Rex Ryan says they have an A-plus rookie class. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN NFL insider Adam Kaplan. A-plus rookie class. Do you agree? I don't. Now, you mentioned D. Milner. He's got a lot of talent. He's got the size you like. You like the pedigree from the University of Alabama. But the bottom line is, Kerry, he's been very good. He's been hurt. And remember, he was hurt coming in. So he hasn't gotten to where Rex would like him. But Sheldon Richardson's a flat-out stud. He's been terrific. Uh, you could certainly talk about him being a pro bowler. So I would agree with that. But you, you look at Geno Smith, who you also mentioned, he got off to a good start very early in the season. But he has struggled lately. In fact, you talk to people around the league, he ought to be benched. So how in the world could Rex Ryan say it's A-plus? I put C plus B minus. C plus B minus. All right, let's stick with Geno Smith. Should he be benched, or what do you do with a guy who's been struggling as much as he has? That's a dilemma. I think in most cases it pays to let the rookie quarterback continue to play and work his issues out, but he's been so bad. Uh, some people think he's mentally shot that he can't correct himself with all the problems he's having. That's why I think it would be better if he would just watch. And now, of course, then they'd be turned to Matt Sims, who's an inexperienced quarterback, who they love as a number two, but he's not an NFL starting quarterback. But in this case, with a strong running game that they have, it's their hope that you get the running game going, play good defense, limit the dropbacks and the throws from Judith Smith, and that would help them win. Let me bring up a name from the past that hasn't been, really been mentioned of late. The first round pick from 2009, Mark Sanchez. What do the Jets do with Mark Sanchez? Well, he's got a big contract, and they're simply not going to bring him back on that contract. Uh, everyone thinks he won't be back, and Sanchez said you know, he'd like to be back. But the bottom line is he'd like to get a chance to start. He had the shoulder surgery. He's not going to be ready until probably sometime in February or March. So the bottom line is it's highly unlikely he'll return. But the better question is what will the Jets do going to free agency in the draft because of the struggles of, of Geno Smith over the last four games here? This is a big evaluation this last quarter of the season. They've got to kind of figure out, is he going to be the guy next season? So if then, if they have to figure out that answer, you would assume then he will be playing as opposed to Matt Sims. Yeah, I, I would. well, let's put it this way. He's been so bad lately, they really should bench him, but they've got to get this evaluation done. That's the key, and, and it sets this thing up here. The final quarter of the season, here, the final four games, they've got to get a harder evaluation on Geno Smith. But if they don't think he's going to be ready next season, that will impact the draft and free agency. So do you think that the Jets have an A-plus rookie class? Be sure to comment on ESPNNewYork.com. For ESPN NFL insider Adam Kaplan, I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.